What's up, that's my man, Boo Fam. Welcome to Everyday Live at... It's your boy, JBG McFly. Oh, you mean John Paul? That's me, where I get to spend 10 minutes with you guys, updating you everything on your friendly neighborhood. That's my Boo. Welcome, Rich T-Max in the house, John Cushing, Canada. It's not a show, it's not a live show without Canada. My peers, Jeff Miller, thank you for joining. I was smiling right now because Anthony Thompson put and you're welcome and that's one of our slogans appreciate you for that smile anthony a uh, high five johnny five alive always got to give a five to the screen high five slap that like button i don't know who that's from that's definitely not from me i'm just calling somebody uh anthony fit or what's up what's up thank you so much for ordering boxes they will still juan g that's my g at biohazard 51 lil will living good what up what up welcome thank you guys all you guys could be anywhere in the world, but you guys are here with me, Fly, and we appreciate it. J. Joe's in the house. J. Pass, A. Alarmant, uh, the whole squad, the whole TSMB fan is here. Let's get started. Number one, the Joker's in the house. He's like, got to get his high ends up. Number one, www.thatsfinemanboo.com. This is probably one of our lowest selling boxes in the last few months. It's the Amazing Spider-Man number six. It's one of our lowest selling boxes, but it's definitely not one of our lowest selling or lowest value GP. Uh, this is worth quite a lot, guys. So www.thatspidermanboot.com. I know you guys might be saving up for your uh, 12 o'clock Eastern time uh, superior V11 rebirth to drop, but don't sleep on Amazing Spider-Man number six. The First appearance of the lizard. Cop that, and I will heart you forever. Nick Pryor, I see you. Double duties in the house. That always puts a smile on my face. James Altman, hello, hello. Emery Butler, Bumpy Books, hello, hello. All right, guys. So that was update number one. Go there. Update number two. We got about four hours. Four hours until. A superior V11 rebirth open access drops. It's our premium box, our premium line. It's what we all get hyped for. It's what we work for for a month and a half uh, to bring you the best product that we can possibly uh, bring. And you know, our motto is always make our next box our best box. So, how do we do that when the VN V9? Uh, had the Turtle Mania prints uh, that I, I see you guys all love. Nobody's really uh, letting them go on EA, and there's, there's a lot of them out there. Um, the V10, we had the Spider Woman, Michael Turner sketch variant that was only in the V10. So we were going to have another type of issue like that in the v11 but you know because of the rona hit uh you know we weren't able to do what we wanted to do so we were like hey how do we make the v uh oh i think it's how do we make the v11 rebirth the net the best box ever uh to follow to make our next box our best box we've got top heavy we want super top heavy by far, the top giveaway prizes are the most exquisite that we have in our Lemon series. By far, you guys know with the Headliner Stanley right out the gate, we put that Stanley. Uh, you know, only a handful of people have that in the world. So right out the gate, we went there and we kept going exquisite. We have the Turtle Mania 100 in here. We have, I'll show them to you guys. But you know, I was just like, you know, top heavy is nice. Uh, but I wanted to give everybody in the box something. And you guys have been asking for these covers as like art prints or something in the boxes balls it's gonna be a lot of mcfly loving but i made something for you guys and it'll come in every box and i'm gonna make all 300 of these guys so it is going to be the covers of 300 of the damage books uh and put it nice on that right here and then I also got a rejected sticker right here. You guys have been asking me to sign these books. I don't, I kind of didn't want to sign it because I know it's Street Level Heroes' first 
uh, Marvel exclusive ever, so it's a historic moment. It's Michael Turner, plus there's very, very few of them. So it's, it's kind of like a key issue or important issue in the world of the comic book industry, being street level hero. We're going to get 100 times bigger, that Spider-Man boot. But we're going to do some damage, and this is our first Marvel exclusive. Uh, so it's cool that you guys were asking me to sign it, but I thought it was weird. So what's kind of cool is that we're going to number these 1 to 300. And then we got a rejected sticker because this is going to show all the damages on the books that I kept talking about the last time. And then I'm going to sign the rejected sticker. So it's going to be rejected by, and then you could have the signature. So that makes a little bit more, more sense that it was rejected by me and I'm signing that part. So I hope that's cool. This will be in every box numbered one, two, three hundred. Bill now says, sweet. Yeah, so you think about it, guys. Like, I would rather, well, I wouldn't rather, but, you know, in theory, you know, I could put a $20 print in there, a $50 print, a $100 print. It'd be easy for me. But for these, you know, <laughs> you got to, I'm going to do some tender love and care, make these nice for you guys. And, you know, the boards that can have a little dings on the side, but I am going to give every one of you guys a little top loader Mylar. So it's a nice keepsake. And if you think about it, this is gonna, this is actually way more time intensive and labor intensive for me than any of those Turtle Mania prints, those are instant or things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it because it's got a letter, a lot of tender loving, McFly loving. Oh, that's a new thing, McFly loving. That's in every single box. I know you guys want stickers and the superior stickers. The superior stickers are still not gonna come in every single box. Uh, but we did get anti-venom venom club sticker, and these will come in every single box. And these aren't the cheap kind of stickers, guys. These are, of course, the die cuts. So hopefully you guys like that. And it's only in the B11 for now. So let's add some more stuff. So I don't know if you guys knew about this cover. The Amazing Spider-Man 801, but it was one of the best-selling covers for us uh, that we sold. It was a Keras Mike Mayhew cover. We sold it. We made a lot of money off of this uh, because it's just a beautiful cover, right? And so me, you know me, I like exquisite things. I like exquisite art. So what did I do? Of course, I got the original Mike Mayhew pencil drawings to this cover art. And this... It's also going to be one of your giveaway prizes in the Superior B11, dropping in about four hours. So I hope you could see that. It's Gwen Stacy. Can you guys see? Oh, I saw Instagram's loving it. Bill now says, cool. All right. You guys know who Warren Lowe is? So. Got original sketch from Warren Lowe, and this is getting added to the mix. Harley Quinn, how beautiful is that? Uh, looks like YouTube is hard, <laughs> hard. It's it's super laggy. That's why we double stream. Uh, uh, hopefully. I know, I hope you guys aren't missing out on this stuff. Henry Butler, but what? This is two types of crazy. So good. Thanks so much, Anthony Fitch. All right. So let's keep going. We are going to add a bunch of first appearances. Uh, here's one, a couple of them Captain Marvel. This is in beautiful shape. First Morbius, you know, he's coming out with a movie. And then let's go through all the exquisite stuff that we've been going through. Um, you guys know Rob, Robbie Rodriguez, the creator of Spider Gwen, drew this Faye Valentine uh, from Cowboy Bebop. And you can see it's not a small thing. But I hope you guys who like Cowboy Bebop, Spider Gwen, uh, Faye Valentine, if you don't like Faye Valentine, I do not know what to say. Um, Dave Valentine is one of the coolest characters ever, and so is Cowboy Bebop, one of the most animated ever. And also in the V11, we wanted to flip, flip the script with those little tin um, posters that you guys get. 
I know a lot of you guys kind of like throw them to the side, um, but we wanted to flip the script on those that when you get the tin, that you have a possible chance to get something exquisite, to get some size, is the print Amazing Spider-Man 121 signed by Jerry Conway. So I really, we want to really flip the script on the tin. So these are the cooler things, double signed by Sam Keith and Boss Logic. And look at that, it's, it's the crazy kind of paper. It's like the nice printed paper, like screen printed. So these are gonna go in the tin guys, like rolled up. So when you get those tins, you know, if this comes, you really scored limited to 50 and signed by both goats. This is the one I really like. It's cool. They make it look like the paper is all messed up or the the paint, the art is like cracking, but it's not really. But look at that. It's very, very cool. And also signed by Boss Logic and Sam Keith. Uh, if you guys don't know about Boss Logic, we've been promoting them. We're, I don't, I'm not going to say we're one of the first people in the comic book industry that promoted, because obviously that's Planet Awesome. Uh, but we are good friends with Planet Awesome, so maybe we could say we're the second. We are hardcore promoting them. Now, if you could see it, all the comic book people are kind of jumping on it and jumping on Boss Logic's, uh, you know, and he's really hitting up hard. Uh, but we knew about him, so we actually got in early and actually got some stuff that, you know, other stores cannot get. You know, so as easily as we got them in the beginning. You know, we're going to have Stan Lee's because you guys like Stan Lee's. You know, we're going to have a handful of Tommy Carlin's because you guys love Tommy Carlin. You guys know we have the regulars and J. Scott Campbell, all those guys on the list. We have the Donnie Cates sketch, and this was the best one out of all the ones that we had as giveaway prizes. This is definitely the one that we kept for last. I always keep the best one for last because I'm like, oh, man, should I keep it? <laughs> it's, it's, as you can see, he put a, a little more time and effort. <laughs> we got Derek Chu. You guys know about, if you guys don't know about Derek Chu, you guys should. He's always with Art German. It's Art German, Derek Chu, at their little table. You guys know about... <laughs> Jock. Jock trying to joke, I mean, does it get better than that? This is a Finland Amazing Spider-Man 120, not a black and white thing. We made a thousand of these. But why is it so exquisite? Why? It's signed by John Berthal. The Punisher himself, 9.8, super limited, super gross. So this will be cool if this came in one of your superior box B11s out three and a half hours. All-Star Comics number 12. This is such a sleeper hit. It's a 7.5. Super dirty. Super wavy. And it's still a 7.5. Imagine the potential of this golden age. 42, uh, you could call it MP market price, McFly, McFly price. Uh, you could just uh, let your mind run what, what this could be worth after you get it prepped, cleaned and pressed. Woo! That's 77! He knows that it's hot in here and I'm getting flustered. He knows. High five. He just uh, <laughs> he said, he donated five bucks. Appreciate it. <laughs> I know he gets so money. So happy. Okay. This is probably one of our best selling boxes when we had uh, these as giveaway prizes uh, in that mystery box 2.0. This is the last one we're putting in one of the boxes. Of course, we have one uh, in our exquisite collection, but we're not going to put that in a price. We're going to leave that in the exquisite collection for purchase. And this one is our last 9.8 Turtle Mania special, number 100. So, if you want to join the Turtle Mania number 100 craze, Turtle Maniacs, be in the club with me, because I'm never going out of the club. 
because that's one of my 10 books that my fiance lets me have. But one of these books is staying in there. Uh, so you join the club with me, a very rare company. I know there's a few of you guys that are in this because of that Spider-Man booth, <laughs> because that Spider-Man booth basically copped most of them. <laughs> and then now we're giving them to you guys. So doesn't get much more exquisite to that. <laughs> signature, signatures, none better than Jack the King Kirby. It's absolutely the best signature you could get in the comic book industry, period. I don't care what anyone says. But so even though you might not like it more than this next guy, it is the best guy. But this next guy is who everybody loves. This is why it's called Superior V11 Rebirth. And this is the whole reason that we're having this box. This is the reason why this is the best box ever. I know only one person is going to get it, but it's freak exquisite AF. It's a Stan Lee sketch. He, of course, he's a writer. He does not draw. Stan Lee sketch. But who cares if it's a Stan Lee sketch? There's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there, but they're asking a ton of money. And theirs isn't signed on his 95th birthday. This truly is exquisite of exquisite. Uh, and this tops off, makes this our best box ever. We should celebrate for whoever gets this, because this is really a come up for that one person who's going to get it in this pure V11 rebirth in about three hours. And 44 minutes. I appreciate all you guys that got in on early access. Open access is soon. Our last box sold out in seven minutes. I don't think we're going to beat that. But maybe. That would be awesome. I mean, either way, we sell out. But it's just cool. <laughs> it's just cool stories when, you, when we have a little record breaking. So last thing was seven minutes. If you could be there in three hours and 44 minutes. That would be awesome. You know, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. But that's not all the updates. We had two huge updates. The team is going crazy. We have so much stuff here to do. It's just out of control. Uh, so this next update, you guys know we've been promoting this week. It's our first DC cover, Street Level Hero LA, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow is the Dark Knight's Death Metal Bundle. It's $15 for the Batman cover and $30 for the Wonder Woman cover. Cover, But Street Level Hero, LA, SLHLA.com is having a superior death metal bundle. It's $45. Bucks. It comes with a superior t-shirt that's designed just for this bundle. They're not selling anywhere else, and it's super limited. So it comes with the A cover, the Batman, the B cover, Wonder Woman. And it comes with the shirt for $45. So basically, it's $80 retail for $45. It's definitely going to sell out. So tomorrow, 10 a.m., uh, be there, support Street Level Hero. We appreciate you. And what's super cool about that is, you know, there's a bunch of Dark Knights, uh, Death Metal. There are a lot of great artists, a lot of talented people in the industry. Lots of them, you know. Cal New is our cover artist with uh, Street Level Hero and Unknown. So Cal New did this Wonder Woman uh, piece, and I think the industry is pretty is going pretty crazy over it. So why, how you know it covers? We think is going to be a hit. Is uh, you know these these A listers, these Todd McFarlanes, uh, these Scott Snyder's, these Greg Capullos, those Alex Rosses. You know, they do, basically, you, you can't be like, hey, uh, Scott Snyder, like, hey, repost this for us, do that. You know, they do what they want, you know. They they choose what they like, and they, they use their IP and post what they want. So, freaking Scott Snyder posted this on his Instagram, not with one asking us, asking, no one asked him. He just posted it. Because he liked it. And he, you know, there's so many covers out there. Uh, but you can see it has like 5,000 likes. And that was like when he, right when he posted it. I don't even know what it is now. So we're super excited if uh, A-list industry people are liking it. You know, 
I just thought the Batman was so awesome with the bike, but everybody's loving the Wonder Woman also. So if I love the Batman so much, him riding a freaking bike, uh, and then the industry is liking Wonder Woman, and we're hoping for a huge success and a huge turnout at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at slhla.com uh, for Spear Death Metal Bundle. So thanks so much. Uh, you guys know I get a little flustered when it's hot, but you guys always make things better. And Bram knows how to make things better. <laughs> uh, so you guys know how the end of the show goes. We always keep things open for questions. Uh, so if I missed any of the questions, just go ahead and ask me. Hawaiian Punch 72, aloha, bro. But I need that Harley. I think he's talking about the Warren Low. That's in the Superior V11 Rebirth. Good luck to you, Hawaiian Punch 72. Emery Butler puts, out of all the things that this man is giving away today, if you happen to get any of these in your that in your mystery box, this would be the best day for most collectors. In. Thanks, Emery. And it still has the exquisite items. It's just called Rebirth now because how the country was going, how May 15th was supposed to be the opening of the country, and uh, basically how it, the Stan Lee birthday thing. Let's see. Ram Mateo 1688 puts what the print runs DC. So Ram Mateo actually usually we discuss print runs, uh, but this is a uh, unknown and G level hero uh, collab. And one of the things in the contract is we don't discuss discuss, discuss the print runs. But if you guys are familiar with print runs, uh, DC and Marvel, it's definitely on the lower end. I can tell you that. Mike Pierce, 6920 puts puts Bradshaw meant to say bra. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Comic Don puts any death metal books gonna be in the V11 box. The Comic Don, no, they are not gonna be in the V11 box coming up. If you guys know the street date on the uh, metal books comes after the V11's ship. The the Corona world thing pushed everything back quite a bit. David Snow puts, is the superior bus that will ship the road to 50 prime? It was supposed to be Davos now. It was supposed to be we messed up. I when I say we, I said I messed up and I sent everybody in the superior plus show the road to 50 prize. But I am also gonna send the road to 50 prize too. So it's like a two thousand dollar mistake uh, on JPG McFly's part. But still, it's I'm still thanking the people that joined Superior Plus. Uh, but yeah, it was supposed to be the road to 50. So now the road to 50 got delayed. Ramp 77 puts, it's going to sell out quickly. <laughs> Good, I hope. If you guys show out, you know, um, Street Level Hero, slhla.com is definitely much smaller than that Spider-Man booth. That Spider-Man booth is a staple, you know, of the comic book industry. We're, you know, a bit more known than Street Level Hero LA. But their culture over there, you know, they're trying to keep top notch, top quality. Uh, and, you know, we're basically their lifestyle and culture and basically top notch. And, you know, we're experienced and family at that Spider Man booth. So we still have their, we respect their values. Uh, and I'm part of them, of course, also and have those values too lifestyle and culture. So it, we hope people turn out to slhla.com, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. They definitely are in the beginning phases and the startup phases, and they love everything that happens over there. If you guys go and like their posts, they're, they're super happy. They you know they get like 15 likes over there at uh, Street Level Hero, 20 likes. Uh, but <laughs> they'll remember. Dan Blodgett puts, did I miss the V11 update? Dan Blodgett, you did. You could go ahead and re, uh, so we went through over it. Uh, you can go on YouTube or replay this. 305 Big Bay puts, is the bundle on SLH Spider-Man booth? Or both? It's only on slhla.com. It is a street level hero exclusive. Nick Fryer, yes, I am with a street level hero, Nick Fryer. But you know, it's definitely two different cultures. Spider-Man booth, experience and family, street level hero. Basically, lifestyle, culture, basically, you know, top notch culture, street level culture. Ed Dog starts with your squid items are so expensive. 
you have sh you should have financing out. Ever start maybe you know you can always hit us up at Brook Shark if you're interested in something, and or if you have exquisite friends, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm the type of I'm like that type. I'm like in between, you know, like. <laughs> I love to have a good time, but then I also like exquisite items. So I'm a little bit of both of, of Street Level Hero and that Spider-Man booth, you know. Of course, I, I put my imprint on both companies. Alex Bill 25, do these prizes are on these orders or tomorrow orders? Alex Bill 25, these are for the Superior V11 Rebirth that's dropping on the website in about three hours and 35 minutes. And a superior V11 rebirth. Oh. So if you guys haven't uh, looked at that ad video, post people, check it out, give it a like. Um, shout out our travel gallery, they did that for us. So I think we may be drying up on the questions. Um, Let's see. I want to hang out more, but there is a lot for McFly to do. So, oh, here we go. Comic Claude's keeping me interested or keeping me here. Comic Claude puts the only exquisite person I know is JP. I need to find some exquisite friends. Exquisite Dolans is out there. It'd be awesome if you guys change all your names to Exquisite Ram 77, Exquisite Double Duty, <laughs> Exquisite Will Living Good, Exquisite Brent Reed. Brent Reed USA. <laughs> I don't have any updates on the Frankenstein. Comic Don, thanks so much. I appreciate it. So awesome, guys. Thank you guys for spending your guys, your, you know, much appreciated time with McFly. I appreciate you. You could be anywhere in the world. We appreciate you guys just hanging out. So thank you. And you're welcome. You know the motto. See you soon. Exquisite till now. <laughs> See you soon. Exquisite Comic Don. See you soon. Exquisite Edda Dark Stark. See you soon. Exquisite Japan. Ram Mateo. He's like, nah, man, let me ask a question. I love questions. So thanks, Ram Mateo. Not sure if you mentioned, but does the SLH exclusives go on sale at a certain time? Yes, it's at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at slhla.com. See you soon. Exquisite Comic Club. See you soon. Exquisite Brent Reed. Exquisite royal family, exquisite Naz, that's my heart. Exquisite J Joe, exquisite J J R, exquisite Cushing, Biohazard, exquisite the comic, exquisite Pint, <laughs> exquisite with or without glasses, the illus, exquisite Jeff, exquisite. Uh, see you soon. See you soon. <laughs> see you soon. High five, exquisite five alive. High five, exquisite T Mac. Or see you soon, exquisite T-Mac. I'll see you soon, guys. See you soon in three hours and 33 minutes. See you soon. See you soon. Low grade is better than no grade. Patrick Johnson, 72 puts, is E11 early access close? No, Patrick Johnson, it shouldn't be closed unless the allotment is all sold out. I haven't checked it all day, so... If it's sold out, then yes, but I don't think it was. We still have a lot. So Rob Boswell, the exquisite Rob, is in the house. <laughs> See you soon. Thumbs up. Slap that thumbs up under. <laughs>